morning, welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. This morning I have a smoothie. I switched back to the smoothie from my granola and um, yogurt. Um, so this is just a banana smoothie. And then when I finished it and I was about to like drink it, I'm like, I was gonna make it a banana peanut butter smoothie, but oh well, I totally forgot. Um, and then I put some flaxseed or ground flaxseed in it as a little change from other times, but it's not as good, so I wouldn't do that in the future. Um, but I am nearing the end of my protein powder. I got protein powder just from Bulk Barn, but as you saw, there's not enough left. So I went, I was at Walmart, and I looked at a whole bunch of different kinds of um, protein powder, and there's so many, so I don't know which one to choose. So if you guys make smoothies a lot and have a good protein powder and you're a girl, because I don't... I don't know, there's a lot of ones that are like, oh, you know, helps build muscle, and they show all these, like, muscular men, and I was like, well, I don't, I don't know. So, anyways, something that would be good, then let me know what you guys recommend. Um, so, yeah, and then there was just some other ingredients um, in there as well, as you saw. Okay, so I'm going to eat this, and then we're taking the dogs for a walk. Um, okay, and then I'll check in with you guys at lunchtime or a snack. All right, so it's lunchtime now, and, and I'm gonna have a kind of Mediterranean burger type thing. I'm gonna use these guys, or just one, the Mediterranean spinach chickpea patties, and since they're supposed to be kept frozen, um, and then you bake them from being frozen, I think you put it in for about like 15 minutes, but I am impatient, so I'm going to um, put this in the microwave for about two minutes so it gets unfrozen, and then broil it for about a minute on each side. It works well, and it's nice and quick. And then for my bun, I have one of these little guys. Um, they're the multi-grain thin ones. I got them from Costco. It's a huge bag. So yeah, they're frozen as well. I'll put it in the microwave just for like 10 seconds and then pop it in the toaster. So now I have toasted the buns and I'm just using some of the tzatziki sauce on one half. And this will give it, it makes it a little less dry because on its own the little burger type things are just a bit dry. And then on the other side I'm just putting a little bit of this roasted garlic and chili aioli. Wow, I feel like a big Costco commercial. Everything I'm ha having for lunch all came from Costco. Even the plates. You can tell we like Costco. Alright, and then I'm going to take it out of the oven. And it's just like this. And just put it on there. Usually if we have like a big piece of lettuce, I put it there, but I only have like little cut bits. So, no lettuce on that. And then to drink, I already poured myself some. It is the Soda Stream drink. And the one I used was that green tea one that I showed last time. The pomegranate peach green tea. And I have to find where I can buy more of them. I think there's only a couple stores where you can buy more of those mixes but I want to have more of those green tea ones because they're really delicious. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm going to enjoy my little burger and I'll catch you guys at dinner. It's going to be a labor intensive dinner, but it's going to be a good one. So I am home from work now and everyone is so excited to see me. Um, so we're going to make risotto for dinner tonight and usually I had always made um, mushroom risotto but today I decided because it's fall, it's the beginning of October, I decided I'm going to use a seasonal veggie and instead of mushroom risotto I'm going to make butternut squash risotto. Um, so this, yeah, we don't make risotto very often because it's so time consuming. It's not like something where like if you put a casserole in the oven for an uh, like, 45 minutes and then you can just leave it. But here it takes like an hour, but it's constant stirring, so that's why we don't often do it. I always make a lot that we have enough leftovers um, for like days, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So with risotto, basically you are just cooking rice very slowly. <laughs> Um, and you're slowly adding liquid. So I have about eight cups of water while well, it's vegetable broth. Um, and over the course of 45 minutes to an hour, I'm slowly adding it like half a cup at a time. Um, and then also use special rice. So I have arborio rice here. And then at the end, when all of that thing is added, then you take it off the heat and you add um, Parmesan cheese and that kind of makes it nice and cheesy and I always do extra parmesan because I love cheese. Um, so that's what a risotto is. So I'm going to be using my butternut squash and we're going to be grating it. Um, my mom used to make butternut squash risotto a long time ago when I was a child. Um, but, and she would make it at first just cubed. I think that's how her recipe said it. 
But then as being the piggy eater child as I was, I did not like seeing the chunks or the cubes of the squash, so then she ended up having to grate the squash for me. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've never tried making butternut squash risotto. I've always only done mushroom. And I think once I did a lemon as well, lemon risotto. Ah, my phone's going crazy. So then we're going to begin the slow process of water adding and cooking. So I just put some onions in, let them um, fry in a little bit of butter for like two minutes, and then I added the rice, um, and I'm going to quickly cut up um, uh, some of the garlic. This is actually from my mom's garden, which I didn't even know she was growing garlic. Um, uh, and then I'm going to start adding that liquid, just kind of going like this and then adding it over. I keep these bowls really close so I can avoid some, well, avoid a lot of drips. So, and then soon I'm gonna start adding the water and then I'm going to add the butternut squash once I'm finished grating it all. And I still have a whole big portion of the squash left. I think it came up to like here, but I, I don't know, this seems like a lot. So I'm just gonna try this and see how it looks. And since it's getting a little bit dry, adding some of my broth. And actually that's about three quarters of a cup, but yeah, that's good <laughs> enough. So now I'm just basically going to do this until the eight cups is done. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of wine. Um, they say white wine. We have this <laughs> beautiful peach apricot chardonnay that um, one of Chad's friends made for us. Um, it, it's alright, but I don't mind using it for cooking. <laughs> as good as it is. So then I'll just do probably about half a cup of wine. It just helps it give it some flavor and we can use up this beautiful bottle. Or not use up, but help use up this beautiful bottle. Oh wait, so I'm just going to continue doing this. And then while I'm cooking forever, I think it has about 30 more minutes to go, um, roughly, I am drinking a better glass of wine. <laughs> this one is the, it's a strawberry white Zinfandel, Zinfandel, yes, and this is one of the only wines that I actually like. I don't, I don't know, it almost tastes like juice, like spiked juice, because <laughs> yeah, it, you can kind of smell the winey taste, whatever, but then it tastes kind of like juice, so. That's my preference, so, but I'm not going to use this in the um, risotto. That gets the weird peach apricot one, but this one is good to drink. So just bubbling and stirring away, but I wanted to show you now, since it's fall, I get to use my new fall napkins. I was almost going to get Halloween ones, but then I figured, I don't know, just for Thanksgiving and stuff, this works nicer, and yes, so. How beautiful, I got them from HomeSense. So there's about 15-20 minutes to go and I'm very hungry, so I'm going to have, start with my salad, um, Chad has one too, and then for me, the dressing I use, as you've seen before, is this balsamic vinegar reduction. So I got it from Costco, it's the Blaze. Oh. And then Chad's going to be using the Greek feta and oregano craft one. Chad's watching some TV and I'm cooking so I'm just gonna eat it here and then but we'll eat our main dinner together so now I'm going to move it off the heat and then I have some Parmesan cheese that I grated so I'm just going to sprinkle that on I still have a cup it in here and just kind of mix it and fold it in And then all the rest. I probably used about three quarters of a cup cheese. Whereas most recipes they say like a quarter cup or a third of a cup, but I like my Parmesan cheese. But it's not stringy or anything. Sometimes I'll add too much and then even just when you go like this, it'll be stringy, but you know. So then that is good for chats. I'm going just to add some pepper on his because he likes lots of pepper. And then with mine, I'm adding some crushed red chili pepper flakes because I like things spicy. 
So that is what we are going to be having big bowls of risotto. Now, if we were to have other stuff with it, like a protein, like a meat, or kind of on the same plate as a salad, then I would let the water evaporate a little bit more so it would hold together if I were putting it on a plate. Um, but since we're having it in bowls and it's just us, we're not trying to impress anyone. Um, it's our cooking skills. Um, so yeah, I left it a little bit. Um, yeah, still a little bit of liquid in it, but then and there's so much, as you can see, so much left for leftovers. So then when I go to reheat it, it'll, it needs that water, so it'll work just as well. So yeah, otherwise you'd have to add a lot of water. So I think not only for today's dinner, but for the next week of dinners and lunches and stuff. So it's a lot of work. It takes about an hour from the very time I started. Um, but yeah, there's so many more meals that we're going to get out of it, so it's totally worth it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week, and actually before my What I Ate Wednesdays, I will have a Halloween do-it-yourself video. Yay! Catch you guys next week. Bye!